the design of a roller coaster is very simple. Of course, we have uh, to thank Isaac Newton for most of it, although now, with space age technology, they say that he wasn't always correct in his uh, formulas for gravity. However, until something better comes along, I still use his formulas. The Mr. Twister in Denver, Colorado, was originally designed as a figure eight with a lot of curves. However, in the first year, it turned out to be a dud. And this is the one reason why I say that curves do not do anything for people. So we added on to the original coaster, which was 72 feet high, went up 98 foot six, and added straight coaster, in other words, a regular traditional coaster to it, and blend it in with the curved ride. The Great American Scream Machine, built in Atlanta, Georgia, is one of the highest at that time that I had designed. This is a very fast ride, very high drops, and comes into the brakes on a 45-foot radius curve, which really ends up the ride with a lot of screams. Really, in a coaster, the lines that I put on paper do not mean very much unless the contractors and the builders that are going to follow these lines do follow them very precisely. The Rebel Yell at King's Dominion is a straight out and back coaster, although it is a double track coaster, placed side by side where two trains race each other from beginning to end. 